Drop it. Hey guys, in this video I'm going to install solar system close to 10 kilowatts. It's going to be grid tie system with in-phase IQ8 microinverters. And right here are the plans for this setup. We have 18 panels on this part of roof. Then we have eight panels right here and the two panels right there. After finishing layout of all panels, we're gonna start installation of uh, l uh, mounting for racking system. So first it's gonna be about 12 inch, 16 inch from top of the panel. So it's gonna be line right here. This is first rail. And the second rail is gonna be somewhere here for first row and about same size for second row of the panels. For racking system, I'm going to use XR100 so we can have six foot span between uh, roof attachments. And now we have to install 43 more roof attachments. Most of the time I'm using shingle lines as my guidance to install all l foots in one straight line. In this case shingle is not installed perfectly, so I'm using chalk line to make straight line from first l foot to last one. After installing all roof mounts we are good to start installation of wrecking. After finishing the rails, uh, we can start mounting microinverters. For this project, I'm using in phase IQ8M microinverters. And the first step, we're connecting a cable for PV modules. After all microinverters mounted to racking system, we can start connecting them into strings. According to our plans, we're going to have uh, 10 panels in string A and uh, 9 panels in B and C. In phase trunk cable sold by roll and uh, it's 200 drops in one roll. When we cut this on field, we have to terminate one end of the cable. And the next step is to secure cable to a racking system. I'm using plastic clips from Iron Ridge and uh, somewhere I'm using UV resistant uh, zip ties. When we are connecting inverters in the first and second row of the panels, it's not enough length between drops in the trunk cable. So we just have to use this cap and uh, seal one of the drop and um, connect two micros together. When we're jumping from one set of panels to another set of panels in one string, we have to use uh, in-phase raw cable to connect trunk cable together, and uh, I'm using these male-female connectors from uh, in-phase. Next step, I'm installing junction boxes between two sets of arrays and connecting with the three quarters ENT ring tight connectors and uh, then we can run wires between them. And right here I'm running conduit down from the roof into in-phase combiner box.
And now we can finish conduit from roof to in place companion parts. And now we need to ground our system for grounding with iron reach. Here is a clamp. It needs to be installed on each row of panels. So one I'm going to install right here. Second is gonna be on this row. And then it's gonna to go to junction box. To run wire without conduit, we have to use six gauge copper wire. Inside, inside conduit doesn't need to be 6 gauge. To connect all ground wires in the junction box, we can use crimp connector. I personally don't like it because in the future if we need to service our system it's hard to disassemble this, we have to cut wires. So I'm just getting this long ground bar and cutting in lengths I need and uh, connecting all ground wires using screws. Last step here before installing solar panels, we have to collect all serial numbers for microinverters to commission system after installation. And now we can start lifting panels and uh, install them on Reckon system. After we finish installation of all panels, we can cut excess of the racking with a band saw. Right here I'm pulling 7 wires, 2 wires for each string, 6 wires total, and 1 ground wire from a location where combiner box is gonna be installed to junction box under the panel. On the bottom left corner of in-phase combiner box we have production CT meter and we have to run one wire from each string through CT core. Now I'm wiring each string to own 20 amps circuit breaker. Now I'm running 6 gauge wire from in phase bus bar lugs to AC disconnect. And here's the finished uh, in phase uh, combiner box. We have L1 and L2, which is interrupted at AC disconnect box. And this lone wire is going to be neutral, which is going to go straight to our main electrical panel.
the general rule where to locate solar circuit breaker is the opposite side where main breaker is installed. So in this panel at the bottom we have 200 amps main breaker and at the top of the panel I'm installing 50 amps breaker for PV solar system. And uh, here's the uh, all wiring finished. Final step here is to put all safety stickers on a panel, AC disconnect and the uh, in-phase combiner box. And the installation is done. We have 28 panels installed on the roof, connected all electrical, we are ready for inspection and the commissioning in phase system. Thank you for watching and see you later.